Good morning, our sales families. Today is Thursday, September 10th, and we are inching closer to the weekend. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of stopping by a few classrooms and seeing our students, both those that are remote and those who are in class. I cannot tell you how much joy I got from my short interactions with our RCS students. I even got to play outside with the first graders. One first grader in particular showed me some pretty cool dance moves. I don't think I am up to the caliber of his dancing, but I did have fun. Thank you, first grade, for reminding me you are never too old to have fun. I think that is why I love being a part of a school that goes pre-K to eighth grade. Whether students are young or old, they each have a unique quality that brings joy to the school. I often highlight our middle school students because they do so much for the school and assist us in countless ways. But yesterday, it was the first graders who reminded me you're never too old to have fun, no matter what else is going wrong on a given day. Yesterday, the students reminded me to be grateful, and today the prayer is focused on gratitude. We are blessed, and it is easy for us to forget, but I ask all of you to stop for a, moment, a minute and count your blessings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me. You help me make better choices and provide me with guidance in the form of good friends, parents, and teachers. You speak to me through the people who take care of me. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am extremely grateful for all of your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and returned acts of kindness. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Yesterday, a lot went wrong for me as a principal. But when I shifted focus, there were things I was so grateful for. Our students for bringing me joy and making me laugh. Our teachers for realizing their students needed to have a picnic lunch out front of school. Our parents who took a last minute email and made Caroline run more smoothly. Our pre-K teachers and aides for spending an hour outside directing traffic. Mr. Murray for running to Walgreens for batteries for the megaphone when the PA system shorted out. You see, when things go wrong, there are people who rise to help you, and this principle is very, very grateful to each and every one of them. God bless, and teachers and students, take time to have fun today.